Hi, in this video we'll talk about why is it that when we multiply a negative times a negative, we get a positive. I'm sure it's been keeping you up at night, so let's talk about it. Well, before we do that, how about let's go back um, and think about how come negative times positive equals negative? And before we talk about that, let's back it up and say... Uh, what is multiplication to begin with, okay? So how about just 3 times 4? Well, we've got three groups of 4. It's uh, simply just repeated addition. That's what multiplication could be broken down to. So you've got, you start on your number line at 4. You're going to jump 3 groups of 4 to get to 12. All right, well, it's the same thing if we're talking about negative times a positive um, to get a negative. So we got... We have 3 times negative 4, and we're going to have 3 groups of negative 4. Repeated, uh, repeated um, addition again. Um, there we go. So uh, negative 4, a negative 4, a negative 4. Do it 3 times, and we get to negative 12. So we need to accept that before we move on to my explanation about what are we trying to do here. Negative times negative equals positive. Um, you know, when the students ask me, what do I say? Um, so I, there are a number of ways to explain it. You could use a number line. You could do some fun stuff and get creative. I'm going to show you one way that I think is pretty cool with algebra. All right, to do this, we're going to start with a true statement that we can accept 3 plus a negative 3 equals 0. We can accept that that is true. All right, now I'm going to manipulate this by multiplying both sides by negative 4. So if I multiply this side by negative 4, I have to do the same thing on both sides. I'm going to multiply by negative 4 on both sides. Okay. Now what happens? I'm going to distribute negative 4 times 3. Um, well, actually, let me just quickly over here what happens. 0 times negative 4 is 0. Great. All right. Back to distributing. I'm going to distribute negative 4 times 3. We already accepted that negative times positive is negative 12. Great. Then I'm going to distribute negative 4 times negative 3. Now that's the question, right? So now I have that negative 4 times negative 3, okay, and I have a negative times a negative. That's the question. Is it positive or negative? Well, for this statement that we have, negative 12 plus the answer to this equals zero. Well, it must be true that this is going to be positive 12. Why? Because negative 12 plus 12 equal to zero makes it a true statement. So that's just a fun way to think about this. And if you like the video, hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you.